Hey guys, I'm back with another track guide. This week I am at Fuji No Chicane for week two of GT3 Challenge and GT Sprint Series. Um, if you want to download my ghost car, my replay file and my setup for the car I'm driving this week, uh, you can go to findingspeed.com forward slash track guides and grab it all from there. Uh, you can review my replay uh, and see how it looks. And if you really, really want to delve into the data, uh, you can become a YouTube member and get access to my VRS telemetry and compare your laps against mine directly in a web browser and see where you might be able to make a few changes or drive a little bit smarter. Uh, other perks include priority access to community races that tend to fill up really quickly uh, and they'll be kicking off really soon. Uh, and also you get discounts on iRacing coaching and lap reviews where you send me a ghost car and your replay file and i will drive against you and send you a video in return uh, just with some pointers or some useful useful tips and tricks they're normally about 10 or 20 minutes long anyway that's enough about that i hope you have a really really good week of racing here this week and with any luck i'll see you on the track cheers All right, so here we go with my 1 minute 35.150 here at Fuji, no chicanes. I'm in the Ferrari. Uh, the conditions are as they are for racing this week. Uh, we've got race fuel uh, and we're using my setup, which you can download from findingspeed.com forward slash track guides along with my ghost car and my replay file from this lap. So we're approaching the 100 board and we need to start braking before the curbing good two car lengths before and there's a little bit of uh just a little mark on the left hand side of the track by the line there which i use uh as i'm approaching as my marker and we're full threshold braking uh, and we're gunning down through the gears and we're going to end up in first we're going to keep the car wide initially and we're watching that inside approach and then as uh, after we cross this white line, we're going to see these skid marks on the track. And that is our turning point. And we want to get nice and tight to the inside curb. And then once we're at the midpoint, we're going to gradually start building up the accelerator in first gear. Just gently at first, make sure we've got good traction. And then you can use all um, of this off the curb. Uh, to the left as long as your right hand tires are on the curb you are good and then we're getting the car immediately over to the right and we're up to fourth now there's a couple of different ways you can do this corner i like to bring the car down to third so just before the 50 board we're gonna uh, do some sort of medium braking um and what you can do is as you approach the apex of this corner you can switch it down to third and that's going to help your turn in and get on the gas really early or you can try and carry all the speed keep it in fourth um technically keeping it in fourth should be quicker 
um but actually it's really easy to fall off the track i like to come down to third i'm in good control of the car i can get on the gas early um your mileage will vary so do what works for you but at the 50 board we're turning in and again super close to the inside now any more than this and this will be an off track uh, but we're good here for this i'm in third gear i'm already at 70 percent on the throttle at this point so good early acceleration and because we're in third gear we've got that rotation you can use a little bit more curb than that but not a great deal more and then we need to be tight on the inside here and we need to come out of the gas um around about uh the, this sort of white line area and we want to keep the car pretty tight initially a very 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 loose trail braking and then a little bit of mid corner throttle and then more throttle to keep us tight to the outside here because we've got another turn and we're going to break towards you can't really see it that's in the way but we're breaking towards this 50 board out towards the outside of the track a little bit um and we're going to bring the car down to second gear and turn in just under the bridgey bit here and again nice and tight now we do have a yellow sausage curb here which we we do need to avoid um, at all costs but we're in second gear we've done our braking now we're going to build up the throttle 80 70 80 percent initially make sure we've got good traction then push up to 100 percent. and again you can use all of this but you do need to be back on the track uh, before the grass starts and then we're keeping it tight to the right we've got a long fast section now um don't oversteer the car you know come out mid track here cut off the corner here and then we're over to left hand side now this is a really tricky braking zone because it's very hard to find something to work with um but basically there are the dunlop logos on the right hand side on the yellow um uh, walling there before the 50 board the third one along uh, is pretty much what i use when that's about to disappear from view heavy into the brakes down to third gear and then uh, we want to get nice and tight now this uh, curb on the right if you hit it hard enough at the wrong angle it's going to hurt the car so you can clip it uh, but it does make the car bounce a little bit but i'm already back on the gas uh, and we want to just make sure we come out nice and wide here there is grass past this curb so you've got to be careful um, and it's not a particularly long piece of straight now until we're turning again so you know you want to carry good speed around there but there's no point th really throwing it at it um because you're only going to unsettle the car coming into a slow section which isn't recommended uh, and then as this curbing starts on the left here we're going to pop into the brakes down to second and we're going to trail it into this curb and get close on the curb here and i'm about to start on the gas now you can see um the way the track is falling away from us uh, and we're going over a curb so if you put your foot down at this point with this kind of steering angle uh, the car is going to react really badly and spin out on you so we have to go light on the throttle round here until we can straighten up that wheel and we're off the curb um it's very very easy to get loose here but we're going to we're going to follow this curb all the way round now and at the end we're going to break out towards the outside of the track. Now I've got about kind of 40 degrees on the steering angle to the left here. And I'm going to maintain that while I'm braking. So we can't go too deep into the brakes. Uh, we can only go so far into the brakes. So we're going to linger on the brake at quite a low braking percentage. And then once we're getting towards the outside of the track, um, then we're going to come out of the brake and let the car rotate. And you can see there are some um uh, skid marks going round to the left uh and we're going to follow those we're following that skid mark round to the left there and we're going to pick up this inside curb and look i'm already into the throttle very gently i can see that i'm going to pick up the back edge of this curb which is perfect positioning for us this is where we want to be uh, but very 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 gentle build the track is falling away here again we're going to have bad traction problems coming off that curb tracks falling away so we need to really gently build up the throttle here uh, we kept it in second as well first gear just isn't necessary we can have traction problems 
So we're taking the car out just beyond mid track now onto the left. And I'm looking for this little mark on the grass on the right hand side here. And just before that, I'm going to start braking again. Exactly the same principle as the last corner. We are we are turning and braking, so we can't go too far into the brakes. I've got about 35, 40 degrees on the steering wheel there. So we got to be careful. And then we're going to drop the brake. Again, we've got some skid marks that can show the, the line that we want to take around this corner. And we're at mid track. You don't really want to be much deeper than this. We're out of the brake now and we can see our target, which is the back edge of this curb, just beyond the yellow sausage curb. Um, again, we're building up pretty gently, 70, 80% initially, making sure we've got traction, making sure we're going to make the corner and then foot down and we're down to the line for our one minute 35.150 very technical track this a challenging drive but there's great racing to be had here we've got a nice wide track we've got some really fast sweeping corners we've got some slow challenging braking zones so lots of opportunity to overtake um and also lots of opportunity to get slow down so we've got to be super careful in places here um i hope you enjoyed the guide i hope you found it useful uh, don't forget to download my setup, my ghost car and my replay file from findingspeed.com forward slash track guides. Uh, and let us know how you're getting on in the comments below. I hope it's going really well. Uh, and for those of you that have made it all the way to the end of the video, thank you very much. And if you want to really delve into the data, press the join button below uh, and have a look at the perks for becoming a YouTube channel member. Uh, we've got some really, really good stuff in there, which I think... You know, a lot of drivers might find really interesting and useful. Uh, so check it out. I live stream a couple of times a week, normally a Thursday and a Sunday. Um, so watch the channel for updates. Subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified when I'm going to go live. Uh, and uh, I'll see you next time. Cheers, guys.